traders, welcome to a new video on 5-Minute Alpha where I'm going to get you guys the absolute best free tool that is out there that you can add within seconds that is going to optimize your trading, make you better trading decisions. Before we dive into that, if you like what you hear today, we have a phenomenal growing community that uh, you can join if you click the link in the description below. Lots of private alpha shared and the price right now is, is quite cheap. So with that, let's dive right in. The indicator we're talking about today is order chain. This is such a good indicator. It, it's one you kind of overlook at the start and then you're like, wait, this is actually really, really good. Um, so what order chain is, is it basically gives us full on uh, market order data essentially. So it, it looks at the volume for every one second um, uh, tick, essentially for every tick that TradingView gets. And it basically plots that volume number um, so the buying amount or the selling amount used uh, through market orders um, at various prices. One very important thing that you need to know when you use this indicator, this is not bound by time. Let me say that again. This indicator right here, it is unbound by time. This time frame right here has nothing to do with the order with this indicator here. You can see this is moving faster than, than these one minute candles. That's because this is a tick indicator, a tick chart. So. When you're using this indicator, I want you to know that the x-axis right here of time has no significance, none, okay? I actually just started running this indicator about two or three minutes ago, and it looks like it's been like five hours. It has not. So just keep that in your mind, okay? No matter what time frame you put this on, the indicator will give you the same values, okay? Because that's what it is trying to show you. Now, what can be very, very helpful is that this actually shows us at what prices are, is there a lot of selling and what prices are, is there a lot of buying? Kind of similar to what book map, book map does, but this does it for anything you want on TradingView, anything. Um, the data that's gonna be the best though, guys, is gonna be ones that has a lot of activity, a lot of volatility, a lot of volume, and you know just a lot of action. And if you get a lot of action on a coin, you can pop, you can, uh, pop on this indicator to see where are people buying and selling. What is the best use case of this indicator? The best use case of this indicator is to look for in periods of ranging or in consolidation, is price more likely to go up or down? How do we know that? Well, if we have a range and I see a lot of selling, meaning a lot of red, like these red blocks right here. I'm gonna zoom in, uh, let's go right there. Yeah, so these red blocks right there, you can see it says $538,000, or sorry, of this coin, not of dollars, of units. A lot of selling is happening at, mar at the market bottom. Let's contrast that with the market high of Eldo, Lido, LDO. Uh, I'm not seeing much market buying, are you? Like if we see these blues versus reds, I'm seeing that the blues are actually quite weak and that the reds are, are actually quite strong. So this would tell me that more likely than not, based off of this tiny segment of data, it's a bit more likely that price will continue to sell off because the sellers are quite strong. This is pretty good in consolidation when price is flat, but market orders are not. And this is going to tell you where the market's most likely to go. The indicators that I have, uh, or sorry, the setup that I have for this indicator, let me show you. I'm using a 300 chain length with a hide zero values. I like the hide zero values. If you don't hide it, it's gonna have a very vertical kind of uh, order chain chart. You should just probably just be hiding them. Um, I put 300 just because I like that a little bit better. I didn't change any of these, but these are the only two changes that I've made. Uh, if you actually wanna read the numbers, then obviously you're gonna have to change some of these from auto and small to a little bit. Uh, a little bit louder, a little bit larger. So if we look here, this is showing us that BNX has a lot of buying, which is in contrast to LDO, which has had you know a fair amount of selling, as you can see. So with this, we'd expect that there'd be you know a decent amount of buying. Now again, we need to actually decipher what uh, you know. We can't just look at this and then match it up with here because that would be incorrect. Like I had said before, the x-axis is pointless. The time is not bounded. The price is bounded though. So let's go take a look at the price and where people are buying and we, where people are selling. So on LDO, or sorry, on BNX, I can actually see that there's a fair amount of buying at the prices of 0 0.994, 994. So we're gonna remember that as a potential support point, you know, if price rises then tries to come back down. A lot of people bought in at 994. A lot of people also bought a recent price of about 1.004. So these two prices are having a lot of buying activity and that could cause a future support point potentially. Now, how would I use this to my advantage? Well, you know what I could do? Uh, because I see a fair amount of buying at you know, 0.994, I could do this, which is option H on a Mac and just do this, boom. And there you go. Now I have a level of support 
uh, because there was just a fair amount of um, uh, activity there at that price. Now let's go look at what you've been waiting for, Bitcoin. Because this is what I would assume a lot of people would probably be using. So currently it is uh, the end of the trading day in the stock market on Friday. So volatility is going to be just a lot lower, you know. Um, but we can still see a few patterns here or there. So we can see that there's been an 18 Bitcoin buy on Binance Futures right here. And that 18 Bitcoin buy was exactly at the price of 60300 You can see that um, right there. So we can see, oh, a lot of people actually bought at 60300 one thing that I have not talked about yet, the last part of this indicator that I think is pretty interesting is the kind of volume profile that they show. You can see right here, you can see using these numbers right here, oh, there's a significant amount of buying here. There's a lot of selling here, a lot of selling here, a lot of selling here, a lot of buying here. When you let this run for a long enough period of time, you can get some pretty accurate data on where are people buying and where are people selling. Additionally, um, this next feature that I'm going to show you is going to require TradingView Premium, but I do think that this would maybe be a better way um, to pull this off. I think that the best granularity for this, meaning like time frame, the best time frame for this might be the one second time frame. I think that one second is going to be quite good. However, I do want to uh, tell you that when I put on the one second time frame, all this data unfortunately is going to go away and it's going to start creating new data. But I just have to remember that, guess what? There's a lot of selling on this coin. So let's transition to the one second time frame, and I'll show you um, what this does. So as you can see, this is going to potentially be just uh, a, a lot better because what we can see is just more pinpoint levels. And you know these market buys, market sells are going to be a little bit easier to, to trade based off of. Okay. So again, this data does not change. Like if I go on the one day, you know, it looks like there's just, oh my gosh, there's, you know, how would it know all of this? Again, it just shows the same thing because this is a indicator that is not bounded by time. It's just bounded by all the data that comes in. If there's market buying, if there's market selling. So let, allow your imagination to go wild with what you can do with this coin. Uh, the two phases that I think it'll work very well on, I've already said, but let me say that one more time. The first phase is consolidation. You know, I, I think that during a consolidation phase on an asset, uh, right now we're in a bit of a sell-off, but in a consolidation phase on an asset, it can be really strong. So during this period of time right here, a lot of traders want to know, is price going up or down? And this indicator will likely show you that price is likely to go down. Um, it actually would have shown you that because if you look at all of the red volume here, there was clearly a lot of selling and that would have been picked up by the order chain by Kiosif. Tra uh, trading, so you would have probably seen that a lot of people selling prices going down, right? Um, so this is probably good during consolidation. Uh, lastly, the other time or market phase that this would be good during will be crazy volatility. During crazy periods of volatility where price is flying up, flying down, you're going to get a lot of very good data because there's a lot of people trading, which leads to a lot of um, order chains. When you get a bunch of de uh, data, that's why I picked um, Lido, because it's very, very volatile right now, even though the markets are closed for the US, um, you're, you're going to get a, laid, a lot of data that you could use for support resistance or for just bias, meaning I want to like just market buy, market sell in, you know, 50-50 it. So with that, happy trading. This indicator is 100% free. Um, obviously, trading view premium for one second data is not free, but this is a free indicator that you can get. I will link it down below. And yeah, happy trading, guys. Happy Friday.